A fair coin is tossed repeatedly until three consecutive tosses are heads. What is the expected number of coin tosses? For the question we are looking at today, you have three minutes. You can pause the video and try to find the answer, and I'll see you back here. Let's start by understanding how can three consecutive heads occur. We can look at some examples. The minimum number of tosses we need to make is three, as seen in the first sequence. Similarly, there is only one sequence that has exactly four tosses, and two that have exactly five. We should also note that there is no upper limit on this length. For example, you can have any amount of tails leading up to three consecutive heads. Let x be the expected number of tosses until three heads occur. To get to this expectation, we need to look at how this can happen using a probability tree. At the beginning, there is a 50% probability to roll tails. In this situation, we had one toss, but we made no progress towards the consecutive heads. We will call this situation a game reset. As such, from this point, we still expect to need the same number of tosses that are needed when starting from scratch. This implies that our expectation on this branch is x plus 1. From the top, you also have a 50% chance of getting heads. After this, we either get tails and our game resets, resulting in two additional tosses before our already expected x, or we get heads again with 50% probability. The last part of our probability tree is similar. 50% chance to reset the game with an expected number of tosses of x plus 3, or 50% chance of getting heads and getting to 3 consecutive heads in 3 tosses. Let's formalize this. We have our equation in x and, after solving this, we get that the expected number of tosses is 14. If we were asked to solve this for a higher number of tosses, this approach would be inefficient. So let's try and generalize this. Start by denoting f of n to be the expected number of tosses until n consecutive heads occur. Looking at the case with n heads, if, at one point, we have n minus 1 of the needed tosses, we again arrive at the same two possibilities. With 50% probability, we get tails and the game resets. In this case, we had f of n minus 1 plus 1 tosses until now, and we expect to need another f of n tosses to get our n consecutive heads. And with 50% probability, we get the last head, in which case we had the expected f of n minus 1 plus 1 tosses. Putting it all together, we arrive at the following recursive equation. This gets us the general recursion form, f of n equals 2 f of n minus 1 plus 2. Further expanding f of n minus 1, then f of n minus 2, and so on, we get the general term for f of n in terms of f of 1. It's easy to see that f of 1 is 2, since we expect to have to make two tosses to see one head. This gives the general form for f of n as 2 to the n plus 1 minus 2. This also gets the same result for f of 3 as we got to before. Let's see if we can get the same results by simulating the tosses. For n equals 2, 3, and 4, we look at 1 million simulations and compute the minimum, maximum, and average number of tosses needed. We can see that while the maximum value gets bigger with n, our expected value converges to our formula from before. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problem's dedicated web page. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!